Welcome to Temple Builders Carpentry. Temple Builders. We problem solvers. Temple Builders safety first. Okay, Temple Builders. Today we talking about concrete, okay? Because a carpenter definitely needs to know about concrete. You need to know about the components that make up concrete, okay? Now, concrete is the strongest and most durable material for a foundation. It is placed which is actually poured, okay, in wood forms built to the shape of the foundation walls. After the concrete has hardened and set, the forms are stripped to expose the concrete. A large amount of carpentry work concerns the construction of concrete forms, okay? Therefore, carpenters should understand the composition and placement of concrete, all right? Now, when I was in the carpenters union, we built mostly scaffolds, okay? Now also, there was other carpenters unions that built concrete forms, all right? Just gonna throw that in there, but let me continue. We need to talk about the components of concrete, okay? Now, you look at this pie chart, okay? We got fine aggregate, okay? Two and a half cubic feet, okay? Cement, one cubic feet, water, a half. This is a half of a cubic feet and say coarse aggregate, okay? One and a half cubic feet right here, okay? Coarse aggregate, you see the little pebbles or that would be gravel, okay? This fine aggregate, okay? Now this is what a cubic feet is right here, okay? So we got three dimensions, okay? You got your, right here, this is right here. You got your length, which is one foot. You got your width, okay, which is one foot. And you got your depth, which is one foot, okay? So, Think about this as a large dice that's one foot in all dimensions, all right? Now take the top off that large dice, okay, and then pour concrete in it. Okay, now there go your cubic foot of concrete, all right? Now, let me give you an understanding. Now those three dimensions is where you get 3D from, okay? Now look at this two by four, all right? Let's, let's imagine that this is one that's in your local home improvement center. And those come in the dimensions of two by four by eight, eight foot, right? So the two is this dimension right here, which would be called the depth or the thickness, that dimension, okay? Two by four, the four is this dimension, going this way, okay? And the eight is the longest dimension. I usually do the eight is your length. Eight foot is your length. Okay. The four foot is your, I mean, excuse me, four inches. The four inches is your width. Okay. And the two inches is your depth or your thickness. All right. Let's continue on. Now, we're talking about Portland cement. Portland cement is a mixture of limestone, shells, clay, silica, marble, shale, sand, bauxite, and iron ore that is ground, blended, fused, and crushed to a powder. Portland cement acts as the bonding agent in concrete, okay, when mixed with water. Now, our cement is our bonding agent, okay? Now we got Joseph Aspen, an English builder, developed the modern process of manufacturing Portland cement. The material was named Portland cement because after hardening, it resembled the natural limestone on the island of Portland near the coast of England. Okay, so it's called Portland cement because it resembles the actual limestone, okay? Now, limestone, which is the principal ingredient in cement. Now, we gotta remember that. Limestone is the principal ingredient. It's a type of stone in cement, right? Is obtained by above ground or underground mining operations. It may also be dredged from deposits covered by water. After limestone has been extracted from the ground, it is broken down, transported to a cement mill, and pulverized into a hard powder. The powder is mixed with other chemicals such as silica, iron, oxide, and aluminum. The combined ingredients are heated to 
2,600 degrees Fahrenheit to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit in a rotary kiln until they form small pellets called clinkers, okay? That's what they call the little small pellets called clinkers, okay? The clinkers are ground to a fine powder. Gypsum, which affects the sitting time, that's something you know right there. The gypsum is gonna affect your sitting time when you add it, okay, with this cement. Okay, gypsum, which affects the setting time, which is hardening of the cement, is then added, all right? So we just went over what cement is, okay? Which is, the main ingredient is what? Limestone, okay? This, okay, let me go on. Let's talk about the aggregate. Aggregate is hard, granular material, material such as gravel and sand. Okay, so gravel and sand, which is granular, can be called aggregate. Okay, which is mixed with cement to provide structure and strength in concrete. So the cement or the Portland cement is our bonding agent. Okay, and the aggregate provides structure and strength in concrete. In concrete. Okay, so we got that, right? Aggregate makes up the largest volume of material in concrete. Now, let's look at our pie chart. Aggregate makes up the largest volume of material in concrete. Look, fine aggregate, that's the portion. Coarse aggregate, that's the portion. So, yep, it makes up the largest portion. The rest is water and cement. Okay. Fine and coarse aggregate are used in concrete. Fine aggregate is sand. Did you hear that? Fine aggregate is sand. Coarse aggregate is gravel, okay? Or crushed stone. Crushed stone is also uh, coarse aggregate, okay? Crushed stone ranging in size from a quarter inch to one and a half inch in diameter. Aggregate must be clean, hard, strong, durable, and free from chemicals or coatings that may inhibit the bond between cement and aggregate. So your aggregate has to be clean in order to have a strong bond, right? So we went over cement, we went over aggregate. Let's talk about water. The amount of water in concrete mixture is a primary factor in determining concrete quality and strength. Too much water dilutes the cement paste, causing the cement to separate from the aggregate and rise to the surface of the mixture. Okay, you heard that, right? Separation of the ingredients results in a weak concrete. So your water proportion is very important. Too little water results in poor mixing action of the cement and aggregate, again, producing a weakened concrete. Water used for a concrete mixture should be clean and free of oil, alkali, or acid. Water with a pH of six to eight is suitable, okay, for a concrete mixture. The pH scale represents the pH level from zero to 14 based on whether a solution is acidic, alkaline, or neutral. Most drinking water is satisfactory for mixing concrete. However, drinking water with a small amount of sugar or citrite Citrus, yeah, citrus, citrus, y'all know what I'm talking about, is not re recommended, okay? So, if you look right here in my pie chart, you see, our little demonstration, we got three-eighths of an inch aggregate, okay, maximum size coarse aggregate, three-eighths of an inch, even though the aggregate can get up to, okay, uh, what do you say, an inch and a half, or crushed stone get up to an inch and a half okay what we're using here for this pie chart is three eighths of an inch the cement was going to be one cubic feet fine aggregate one cubic feet coarse aggregate one and a half cubic feet and water a half of a cubic feet now let's take a good look at what we have right here high strength concrete mix okay Look down here, you see the powder? You see the little the gravel? That's your aggregate, okay? I can take the aggregate out, okay? I don't, it might be fine aggregate in here, which would be sand, okay? 
but it's mainly the cement is here in here is Portland cement. And look look at this specimen right here. Uh concrete. It has larger aggregate in here, okay? So if you don't have no aggregate in your Portland cement, you're just dealing with cement. Okay? So concrete is your strongest material. In order to be concrete, it has to have well, what makes up concrete is cement, Portland cement, coarse or fine aggregate, okay, and water, all right, three materials, okay, so if you like this information, hit the like button, subscribe, become my apprentice, if you want to contribute to Temple Builders, the um, cash app is in the description box, all right, Temple Builders.